Hey friends, this is Tay again with another reaction video. And today we're going to be doing a reaction on Wolfman, the official trailer. Now there seem to be a lot of Wolfman movies coming out lately. Uh, the, what's that actor, actor named Kit from Game of Thrones? He played Jon Snow. He's coming out with a werewolf movie. I think it was another one I've seen. Now I'm not surprised because Halloween is just around the corner. So I'm not surprised that monster movies and stuff coming out. Uh, we even got... Uh, DC uh, Creatures Commandos coming out as well. So Halloween, definitely a lot of horror movies going to be definitely coming out. But so many werewolves. When did werewolves become popular, right? It used to be like vampires, right? Now, there are vampire movies coming out. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying every time I turn around, there's a Wolfman movie coming out, okay? So hopefully this will be unique. Somehow I get the feel it's not because they, they go with the same thing. They never change anything when it comes down to the Wolfman. They never make Wolfman good guys, which I like because I'm tired of them always trying to make uh, monsters good. The only one that should be good is Frankenstein, okay? Ever since the black and white ones that came out back in the day, Frankenstein was always misunderstood and they would always attack him because he was a monster. I mean, yeah, he killed and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just saying that he wasn't inherently evil. He probably is the only monster of my knowledge that didn't go out there and kill people. I mean, we got uh, mummies and we got vampires and stuff like that. Now, what they trying to make vampires, you know, nice guys and stuff like that. But I think that's boring. I don't want to see that. I want to see some killing. OK, but that's the one thing I do like about the wolf, man. They always make him evil. I mean, of course, the human side of him. Is, is good he don't want to do it but the, the beast within he definitely wants to kill and spread and multiply okay so that's what i love about the wolfman okay it's almost like a dr jekyll mr hyde type situation or a bruce banner and uh, incredible hawk okay uh i think people love this and i think it might be interesting but hopefully i'm, I'm hoping that they'll change change it up just a little bit at least just to keep it interesting but i mean who knows i mean they've been sticking with a formula that works all the time so i doubt if they're gonna change it so let's go ahead and get into this reaction but before we do please like subscribe and share this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you know whenever we come out with new videos okay all right let's get with it Infected. <laughs> Infected. Right Run. You know, the part I don't underst never understood is, is it because the werewolf carry a disease or something that transform people, or is it mystical? And they never really explain why he's able to trans people transform people just from a bite or a scratch or whatever. You know what I mean? That never was really explained. Might be both. Who knows? Hello? Did anyone hear me? Oh. Hello? Okay, that's the actress. Um, I forgot her name, but she's gonna be the one playing the Silver Surfer in uh Fantastic Four. She's a really good actress. So this must be somewhat quality, because I doubt if she'd do this if it's not. We were in an accident. Daddy, are we gonna die? No, it's my job to protect you. <laughs> yes, you will. And we we were attacked. Yeah, that's I it. I think my husband was infected. Mike. Uh oh. Mike. Time to take him out. This is like a shining situation. Daddy. Daddy. What's wrong with daddy? You need a lot daddy in a room somewhere or something. Who 
what's yeah. happening to me. Yeah. Can you understand me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're you're scaring me. Back up! He said he's mean. Hurry, mommy, he's coming. Come on. Oh no, she's taking her time. Come on now. All right, we just reacted to Wolfman, the official trailer, okay? Now, I didn't see too much difference between this werewolf and other werewolves, you know. They transform, you no, know, from a bite or a scratch or whatever. I mean, the same lore, basically. But this might be a little bit more interesting because I think it's going to be a slow transformation. It's going to be like American Werewolf in London, right? It's going to take a while before he becomes the monster, and they're going to see him changing because, like, other movies they they want to get to the uh, the change really fast, pretty much. But certain movies want to do it slow. But I'm wondering if they're gonna go a different uh, direction. And the reason why I'm saying that is because when she's talking to him, he's starting to hear either a different language or he's starting not to understand her or something. I found that very fascinating, very interesting, man. I think that that that, that might be so. They might be exploring the psycho psychology of the werewolf in more detail than other movies have because normally it's just him just eventually becoming a monster you know maybe having nightmares or whatever of him hunting and killing people then eventually at some point he's going to transform hopefully the transformation is going to be interesting because it varies over the years um i like the one in underworld okay the transformation for that it, i mean it wasn't that great but i, I like the the final transformation of the beast you know i like the way they looked and the fact they was going to be able to crawl on walls and all kind of stuff. Very interesting characters, man. I think they did it very well uh, with the uh, werewolves. But hopefully, you know, we in 2024 now. And hopefully, you know, the special effects should be really good now. So this should do a good werewolf. I'm hoping that's the case, okay? But I think it's going to be a little bit different than um, the regular transformation. I think, you know, it's going to be to the point where, you know, what would be really interesting if they made her the werewolf. I think that would have been more interesting, in my opinion. You know, to watch your wife transform into a monster. But I don't know if you can call it, what's it called? A werewoman? Wolf woman or whatever. That wouldn't sound right. Maybe the maybe just the title alone, they were like, nah, we gotta go with a guy. But it would have been really interesting if they would have made her the werewolf, okay? But you know, in situations like this, most likely they're gonna end up killing him. I already know that. But I wonder if she's gonna get affected. And I know the kid's gonna survive, because they never kill off the kids. But I wonder if at the end, at some point, she's going to get affected and then it starts all over again. I mean, if they put some twist in there like that, that it'll be very interesting. If they just make her just kill this guy and then they just go about their lives and stuff like that, man, that'll, that'll, that'll be pretty regular. I'm not going to say it's going to ruin the movie, but I'm just saying it'll be pretty regular. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping that they put some twist in it. I mean, why not, right? Make it interesting. Make it something different, right? I'm sure the people that that's involved in it are gonna want to do something different. But let's read. Let's read. Uh, what's this about? Now, I kind of looked this over. I didn't want to get into all that. I just want to read this paragraph right here, okay? But as the family approaches the farmhouse in the dead of night, they're attacked by an unseen animal, and in desperate and in, in a desperate to escape, uh, barricade themselves inside the home as the creature prowls the perimeter. As the night stretches on, however, Blake begins to uh, behave strangely, transforming into something unrecognizable. And Charlotte will be forced to decide whether the terror within the house is more lethal than the danger without. I mean, dog, man, you got two of them jokers <laughs> you got to deal with, right? You know what I'm saying? And I wonder if they're going to become buddies once after he transformed, right? Then they be like hunting her together or whatever, right? I mean, this sounds pretty interesting, man. I mean, I definitely like to watch this on streaming or something, right? But let's go ahead and get into to see uh, what other people think about. Let's matter of fact, let's just see. If, okay, all right, all right. Okay, it's gonna be people talking about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what uh, the comment section has to say about this. 
All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Slasher. Anybody else at the beginning of the trailer think it was a dad and two daughters? I was like, oh, until she said my husband. Okay, not too important, but you know, it is what it is. All right, Tapestry. That was a very potent wolf man waiting for the, uh, the, the windshield wipers to work for mass, maximum jump scare. <laughs> yeah, right. You just talking. Maybe be playing with him like a, a kitten playing with a, 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 you know, with a mouse or something like that. Maybe that's how it acts, right? Because I mean, come on, they just can't kill her. I mean, then it's just the daughter. I mean, the daughter can't survive on her own, so they gotta, they gotta. Uh, you know, play a little game here and there, man. I mean, see, this is the part when I always complain about a lot of these movies, horror movies, sci-fi movies, animation. I need a little bit of realism. I need people to act like human beings. What would they really do in situations like this? I wish they explored the psychology of this stuff, right? Really sit down and think about it. You know, talk to some professionals thinking, you know, there's people, I'm sure there's people that have been hunted by animals or whatever, stuck in a house. I think I've seen a video when in Africa, when this lion was stalking these people inside the house, it was very scary. Very, it was like a male lion too, one of the big ones. So it was like very scary. So, I mean, I, I, it would be nice for them to talk to people like that and, and see how they acted or the fear of what they was going through and everything else. Man, it will help in movie because a lot of the times, uh, or at least I thought, uh, people that create these type of movies, they do a lot of research to find out, you know, how people would act in a situation like this instead of just thinking, hey. You know, she's going to be brave and not scared. And I mean, she should be like bawling her ass out, confused, don't know what to do, terrified. I mean, you know what I mean? Making stupid mistakes because she's scared. I love uh, Cujo. I don't know if you remember that um, movie. It was by Stephen King. It was like, I mean, that was to me really realistic because she was terrified. That thing was out there. It wouldn't leave. I mean, it was, it was really, it was really a uh, really good movie. So hopefully they'll approach it like that. But let's let's continue. Uh, Vince uh, Vince Thai Milton. <laughs> okay, terrible with these names. So please excuse me. Uh, nothing will beat the design of the 2010 Wolfman. Say what you will about the movie, but they nailed how the Wolfman should look. 2010 Wolfman. Okay, I don't know if I seen that one. Uh, the talent of I love the Invisible Man and especially Upgrade on rewatch. So well, um, on rewatch. So we'll definitely see what uh, 1L uh, has to offer here. Rick Baker's design for the Wolfman is 100% still the gold standard. I really have to do some research on that, man, because I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, Sin Dragon. They showed the design of the Wolfman at a Comic-Con once. And while I'm not a fan of the design itself, shots like those at like 1.30 and affected being unable to understand human language is rather brilliant. Yeah, I thought that was very interesting. That's a beautiful twist. Cause I think they diving deep into deep into his transformation, which I love. Cause like I said, they, all, the most they ever did, like American Werewolf in London, you should definitely check out that movie. If you haven't seen it. Uh, he was having these dreams. He was seeing his friend dead and all this kind of stuff. So that was a very interesting uh, take on uh, the werewolf lore. You know, so hopefully they'll come up with something really creative like that. Uh, the fact that he was losing his, I mean, do he stay a werewolf after he transformed? That'd be interesting because normally they'll be able to change back after the killings. But maybe he just stay a werewolf after that. And that's it. He become just some other being or whatever. So that'd be pretty interesting. I think so. But I do agree with you. I think that's brilliant. The fact that he was, he was losing uh, the language. Uh, Mr. Grumpy Jinx, <laughs> the Wolfman with uh, ben Benicio Del Toro was one of the best werewolf movies to date. I hope this one will be the same. I mean, like I say, man, that actress that's in it, uh, she, I think she, look, man, she might not be an A-list actor, but I think she's a really, really good actress. And she's been doing a lot of horror movies lately because I think she's doing Rosemary Baby. I think that's the same actress that's doing that new uh movie uh from the old movie before so i, I guess she's really into the <laughs> into the monster movies uh richard bagantem wolfman werewolves nosferatu i'm so excited yes halloween man see that's the best best thing about halloween i mean it used to be when i used to go to those parties and stuff like that 
Uh, I mean, but party is a party. It really didn't make no difference. People love dressing up. I never really got into that. I remember being a little kid and they kind of like my uh, parents and sisters would like buy us outfits and put us put us on it. It was cute and all. But as I got old, I really never got into that. But but I love the movies, though. I always love going to movies, man. Seeing horror movies, man. That was my, the best time in Hollywood to me. I mean, Halloween to me. Robert to uh, Jack come. Okay, I thought it was the mom that fell out, and it was the father and the two children left. Got a whiplash when she referred to him as her husband. Yeah, it's very dark. You can't see. You know, this thing about it is, and they should strategically uh, put lights in certain places where you can really see inside the car. But it's so dark, you can't recognize anybody in it, man. I don't know, if, like they just meant it to be that way, or somebody just didn't understand what was going on, or whatever. But they should have put more more light. You should have had some like a flashlight or something. Uh, uh, Jane Sherman Harrison. Okay, I was really hoping the tag would be "What if someone you love became a werewolf?" Gotcha, gotcha. Thin crust. I liked how they show um, from this per perspective, like when he doesn't understand her and how he saw where she was standing, it was, it made it more believable. Yeah, I mean, th just the pure terror to see somebody transform to something else. I guess they're going by, you know, and when you think about relationship, right? During a long relationship, people change, okay? They become different people. They might decide to have different interests. Sometimes people get divorced over these things, right? So they exploring something with somebody she loves. It's becoming something that she don't understand or want to be around anymore. And then she got to decide to kill it at some point. And you know, that's that's it became that, man. She she got she got to protect uh, protect her daughter. You know that that the parental instinct or whatever. She got to protect the daughter now. So, I mean, it's an interesting uh, concept. I, I, I'm liking the concept. Uh, Bandit six. How am I? How am I supposed to know what I'm watching without the th the three second X trailer starts now trailer? <laughs> yeah, I get you, man. I get you. How Lindbergh? Okay. Uh, well, I'm positive the werewolf design that was shown is in the final form. I assume they're going to make this transformation uh, be slow and worsening as the film goes on. Yeah, that would be interesting. Hopefully, they'll be able to do that, man. Because, uh, like I said, I love the lore behind it, man. I wish they would, like I say, it would, to me, what would be really interesting is, you know, like Zeus or Hercules or whatever, they'll, they'll grab it from them ancient times. They really go into that. Because they do that with the vampires, man. You know, I mean, look at the mommy. They got the Egypt and everything else going on right there. But they should really, really explore. You know, I remember watching uh, the originals, and they had an interesting concept when it came down to the werewolves. You know, because they were cursed or whatever, right? But they should really explore the ancient history about where werewolves come from. That would be really interesting. But you know, being stuck in a house, I mean, it ain't like she's gonna have internet or something like that. I'm surprised there was a phone in there. But you know. It would be interesting if they explore that. I thought I think so, in my opinion. But the way it seems like people are sounding like they are uh, looking forward to seeing this. They like the Invisible Man. I did too. So they look like they are really looking forward to it, man. But I'm really curious about her being coming to um, Silver Surfer. I think, you know, even though they going with women, I mean, they already made up their decision. No, no, no reason to get mad about it now. I understand people was pissed off about it. When they first heard it but we we passed that point now she's going to be the silver server at least for this movie so i i I'm, I'm, i really think she's going to do a good job i really think so if they give her good writing they don't make her you know do this woke stuff anymore and they give her some good writing and fantastic four is really good i think she's going to do a great job i like this actress if if they was going to get any actress to play uh silver surfer i'm glad they picked her because she she's not going to go around and trash the movie, you know, talk all that woke stuff and everything else. Even though a lot of people might be saying they're disappointed that they didn't get the original uh, Silver Surfer demand. But I doubt if they attack her. And I doubt, I think she's so professional and she understands how things work. that she's not going to trash the fans. I really hope not. You know, I think she's just going to do her interviews and just, you know, uh, do the part the best she can. I think people are going to accept it. Because I noticed that. You know, you, you can tell the woke actors and actresses and you can tell the people that just professional. 
you don't get that mad at them you know what i mean you don't get angry with them over there they, you know what it's a job she's gonna take it they're gonna pay her she need the money i mean why wouldn't she take it right so you won't you're not gonna direct your anger at her most likely you're gonna direct it at disney you know, a Marvel or whatever, right? But you're not going to direct it at her because she is a likable like actress. And I don't think she's a type that she's going to, you know, try to trash the movie or, or trash the fans or anything like that. So I can accept it. You know, especially if I'm thinking this is some kind of other universe too, when it's just this movie she's going to be in, okay? But other than that, you know, um, just for her being in this movie, I think they going to really take it seriously because I think she will, um, <coughs> she gave me the impression she did type of actress that's only going to accept something that's going to be psychological thriller type th st type stuff not just for you know killer killer monster monster thing she's really going to want it to be interesting before she decided to do a movie like this that's why i was kind of surprised when i was you know going through this i'm thinking oh okay she's in it so whenever i see her in something for some reason i take it more serious than i don't know why that is because i like her in other stuff so i don't know i when i see certain actors and actresses and something that I know they are serious actors. I think it's going to be more interesting than I thought originally. You know what I mean? But it seems like people are seem to be a little psyched about this movie. Hopefully it will be good. Most likely I'm probably going to see it on streaming. Because I mean, like, like I said, I don't. I, it got. It takes a lot for me to go to the theater. It really, really does. Why not? It, it probably won't be long before it becomes streaming anyway. All right. All right. I really appreciate all of you coming by. Thanks again. This is T and Peace. I think my husband was infected.